The following video demonstrates several steps that may be useful in calibrating your Valiani equipment. Here's what we'll cover. V-Groove Width. We'll learn how to test the width of your V-Grooves and adjust the cutting head foot if the cut width is incorrect. Cutting Depth. We'll learn to adjust the software to select the correct value for the cutting depth dial. Corner Hooking. We'll make minor adjustments in the software to assure crisply cut corners. Opening Cut. We'll make adjustments to get the correct position and size in our opening cuts. We'll begin by testing the width of our V-grooves. Using the green cutting head, we set up the machine to cut a V-groove in our material. We want our V-groove to measure just about 1 16th of an inch, so we'll measure to confirm. If the width of the cut is incorrect, we'll need to make a physical adjustment to the cutting head. So let's tell the software to do a head change. This will allow us to remove the cutting head and make our adjustment. From the software, we'll enter Smart Cut Mode. We'll tell the machine to home itself at 00. zero and then click Cut. From here, we can select the Head Change icon in the Cut menu. We'll remove the blade. Now we'll adjust the height of the foot, which controls the width of the V-groove and also affects the depth of the cut. With a 2mm Allen key, we can loosen the set screw on the side of the cutting head. Then, using the same Allen key, we can twist the threaded rod inside the head to adjust the height of the foot. Moving left to right increases the height of the foot, making the V-groove narrower. To widen the V-groove, we would adjust the foot downward by moving the Allen key from right to left. After we replace the blade and reinstall the head, we can recut and test the cut width. Once our V-groove is 1 16th of an inch and consistent all the way around, we know that the foot is set correctly on our cutting head. To make sure our cutting head is achieving the right depth, we begin by setting the depth dial to the number that is asked for by the software. In the tests we performed here, the software was calling for a setting of 8, but it wasn't until the blade was set to 11 that we achieved the depth we needed for a good V-groove. We can adjust the settings in the VStudio software to get the correct depth value. First, we click the settings icon and enter the username superuser and the password frames, F-R-A-M-E-S. If you have SmartCut or Create open when you enter settings, you may get an alert that some settings won't be available, but that won't prevent what we're adjusting here, so we'll click OK. Click Machine Settings, select Tools, and the T40 green head. On page 2 of the Green Cutting Head Tool Settings, we'll find the Blade Offset setting. Since we needed to use a setting of 11 to cut a groove to the proper depth, while the software was asking for 8, that's a difference of plus 3. So we enter that difference in the Offset field. After we click the Save and Escape button, the software will now ask for the dial to be set at 11. Next, we'll learn to adjust for hooking on opening cuts to ensure clean corners. Make an opening cut with the machine for evaluation. In this cut, the corners are hooking outward toward the corner of the mat board, so we'll need to make an adjustment in the software to achieve a cleaner cut. From SmartCut, we'll click Settings, enter our username and password, select Machine Setting for the green head, and go to page 2, where we'll find the Z offset. If your corners are hooking inward, the Z offset needs to be lower. In the cut we just made, our cut was hooking outward, so we're going to increase the number. Here we'll increment from minus 6.5 to minus 4.5. Then we'll click Save and Escape. Then we'll home the head so it accepts the new offset value. Now it's ready to make another cut to see if that adjustment has solved our hooking issue. If it's still hooking outward, we'll continue to try higher Z offset values until the corners are clean. If it begins hooking inward, we'll adjust the Z offset downward again by a smaller increment until we have clean, straight corners all the way around. Finally, we'll cover calibrating your machine to make opening cuts at the right size and in the right position. To determine if our opening has been cut to the correct dimensions, we'll need to measure from the bottom of the bevel. So turn your mat board over and measure from the back. In the example here, our cut measures almost a sixteenth of an inch too large. We'll enter settings from SmartCut the same way we have for other adjustments, 
and we'll go to page 3 of the machine settings for the green head. The opening dimensions are adjusted with the resizing K normal cut setting. Since our cut was too large, we'll enter a lower number in this field, and the opening size will be adjusted proportionately in each direction. We'll hit save and escape to accept the new setting, and we'll be ready to make more cuts to find the correct setting through trial and error. The last calibration adjustment we'll cover in this video is the positioning of the opening cut. In this example, we have an 8x10 mat with a 5x7 opening, so we should have an inch and a half all the way around. Our adjustments will calibrate the position of the left and bottom edges of the cut. If our opening size is correct, and the cut begins at the correct position on the left and bottom, then our cut will be positioned correctly all the way around. Measuring the left edge, we get a measurement of exactly one and a half inches, so no adjustment is needed. Measuring the bottom margin, we find here we will make an adjustment for size. Unlike the other adjustments we've made so far, the opening cut position isn't accessed from the Smart Cut settings. Instead, we'll select Settings from the main vStudio menu. We'll log in using Super User and Frames, click Machine Settings, and Machine Settings again in the next menu. The adjustments for opening cut position are the X-axis Home and Y-axis Home. We got a good measurement on our left edge, the X, so we'll make an adjustment to the Y-axis Home. Our bottom margin measured 1 and 9 16 inches, so we'll need a smaller value in the Y-axis Home. We'll click Save and Escape, and return to SmartCut, and home the machine to accept and test this new setting.